Hi, I'm Ted Fay, and this is U.S. Borax, a legacy of innovation. The discovery of borax in North America happened in 1856 in a lake in Northern California. After the discovery, it was called Borax Lake. But it would be 15 years later, during the 1870s, in the dry lake beds of Nevada, where the borax boom would happen. As more and more uses were found for this mineral called the magic crystal, the more prospectors roamed the desert, hoping to find this white gold. One of those prospectors was Francis Marion Smith, who discovered a rich borax claim at Teal's Marsh, Nevada in 1872. That started the company that has grown into today's Rio Tinto Borax. When borax was discovered in Death Valley in 1881, the man who distributed Smith's borax, William Tell Coleman, bought the claims and set up a crude borax refinery of his own. There, the borax was scraped from the valley floor, refined in a gravity-based system using boilers, pipes, and tanks. It was then sacked and readied for shipment. But it didn't last long, as Coleman made some bad investments and went bankrupt. So Francis Smith bought Coleman's claims and became America's borax king. Smith closed the Death Valley operation, taking borax mining from dry lake beds to underground mining to retrieve a higher quality mineral. The company's operation moved to the mountains near Barstow, California in 1890, then back to Death Valley in 1906. Then in 1926, a rich borax deposit was discovered at the present site. Life in those early mines could be dangerous. My grandfather, he used to run the head pulley that sent the guys down. And he told me, he said he was operating the one over there in the west one. Just brought up something like 20 guys out of the bottom and they had a cave in. It wasn't a real bad one, but he said it shot spikes and timber clean out up through the top and his little wooden head frame so it shot spikes inside of it, stuck inside of it from the pressure. Nobody got hurt. In 1956, the mine went to an open pit and today, innovation in mining technology and safety has taken the company a long ways from the days of head frames and hoists. All of those old holes in the ground posed a present danger as ground would give way in undermined areas. Today, a 3D computer model replaces old paper maps of the underground workings, allowing a safer working environment, and cameras going down the hole can give accurate measurements of any void to be encountered. And then there's Amazon. That's right, Amazon Services provides the green grass software that analyzes and helps determine the conditions of the roads in the mine, producing a report for maintenance that can be reviewed for safety. While none of the prospectors in those early days could ever have imagined an operation on this scale, men like William Coleman and Francis Smith used innovation to conquer the challenges that they faced. But Finding ways to scrape, dig up, and crudely refine borax in remote locations wasn't the only challenge the early company faced. Once you've got your white gold, how do you get it out of this barren desert? Well, to find out, join us on the next episode of U.S. Borax, a legacy of innovation.